Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. 番組は多言語放送です。放送予定は s u p r e m e m a s t e r t v c o m スラッシュスケジュール。The meat industry is a not a very lucrative business with very high production costs for electricity, water, and grains have to be wasted to produce the same amount of so called food. Which is、um, replaceable. Supreme Master Ching Hai, Vegan on the Harmful Effects of Meat, Part 4 The High Economic Cost. Continue watching to find out more. Welcome in means welcome in Faroese. Elegant viewers, I'm Hans. The sweet people of the Faroe Islands pray for the spiritual upliftment of humankind. May you gain greater enlightenment every day. Warning You might find the content herein disturbing, but the truth must be revealed. In our modern era, we are increasingly plagued by pandemics, chronic diseases, rising temperatures. Intensified natural disasters and environmental degradation, a planet in crisis. If we look closely, all these devastating issues can be traced back to the human habit of meat eating. The time has come to turn away from what was long accepted as the norm. And fully examine meat's impacts on our health and the environment, as well as our moral and spiritual development. Over the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared her insights about the harmful effects of meat on many different occasions. In this series, we present a collection of Master's enlightening teachings on this very topic. And pray that humanity will soon awaken and embrace the vegan diet so that we and future generations may live on and in a more harmonious world. Today, we will examine some of the economic impacts of meat eating. The livestock industry. Is not only wasteful and unjust because of its hidden costs associated with health care and environmental issues, it also gets substantial subsidies from our hard earned tax money. So, what's the true cost of meat? Let's now find out the answer in Supreme Master Ching Hai's insightful lectures. It's a waste eating、uh, animal meat, it's a waste of energy and national treasure and money. And cause world hunger. We take all the grain and the, the stocks to give it to the buffalo and then eat just a portion of it. How much it costs for one kilo of beef, one piece of beef steak, costs many, many tons of grains and protein and water and electricity and medicine and doctors' money for caring for them. The meat. Industry is a not a very lucrative business with very high production costs for electricity, water, and grains have to be wasted to produce the same amount of so called food, which is、mm, replaceable. We have better food than meat. For example, if there were no subsidies 
for a hamburger for the meat industry. If the government didn't give them any subsidies for the meat industry in any case, then a hamburger that some people eat, produced by clearing forests in India alone, eh, would cost $200, not just 99 cents, like the way you would buy it in uh, some shop, for example. You see, it would cost $200, the real cost of a hamburger. Now, in the U.S., even before the swine flu impacted the pig farming business, the pig industry has been losing billions of dollars. Why? Because they cannot afford the grains to feed their livestock due to the high food prices. And the food prices are getting higher and higher nowadays. So, how do they survive? Your tax money going to the government, the government subsidizes them. That's how they survive. That's your money that you're eating. These hamburger and beef burgers contain all parts of the animals that you don't know where they even come from and contain all kinds of bacteria, all kinds of disease, breeding causes. Not only we pay a lot of tax money into the subsidies for the uh, meat industry, we pay a lot more tax money for the hospitalization, for the burying of our loved ones, for the heartache that we have to bear the whole lifetime, for losing one of our dearest, or many of our dearest. Mỗi ngày khi ăn thịt, chúng ta đang thử trò may rủi, cái giá quá đắt, đó là sức khỏe và chính mạng sống quý báu của chúng ta. Trung cuộc, chúng ta luôn là người thua thiệt, và đây là sự thua lỗ. Ít nhất 20 triệu người chết hàng năm trên thế giới vì nguyên nhân liên hệ đến thịt và sản phẩm bơ sữa, tổn thất toàn cầu hơn 1.000 tỷ Mỹ Kim hàng năm, chưa kể đến mất mát to lớn của sự đau khổ trong gia đình, bè bạn vì mất cha mẹ con cái, người yêu, chồng vợ, vân vân. Compassionate viewers, we will take a moment for an important message. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our program presenting excerpts from Supreme Master Ching Hai's discourses on the high economic cost of meat. The meat costs very cheap because the government subsidizes meat. So you're eating your tax, you're eating your own money and uh, having uh, a disease and abnormal hormone level in your body and cholesterol and everything, all these poisonous antibiotics. Even if we take antibiotic, we have to take it a little bit, only when we need it. But they keep feeding the animals because they raise them in the farm industry that is very filthy, and the animal easily gets sick. So they give a lot of antibiotic all the time. Imagine eating all that. All this suffering, all this tax money, paying again, again, and again, and you work in day and night to make ends meet just to survive, and all this money goes into different directions. It doesn't help you at all. It's just wasting resource, finance, and national strength, and human health and happiness. It's just a waste. It's just a very, very, very bad business. So you see, the meat industry is terrible terribly harmful to us in every imaginable situation, in any imaginable aspect. Now, if the subsidies are not going in to support them, the farmers of the animals raising industry could not make ends meet with their business. They would have gone out of business already. So I suggest the government don't give any more subsidies 
to animal rising industry. Instead, tell them to convert into vegan farmers. All the lagoons, you know, like man-made, like they dig to house all this waste from the animals. They produce contaminated flies and other insects. And, you know, people live around there, they cannot live anymore. Even uh, like one mile around it, or one kilometer at least around it. The smell is terrible. And all the flies and insects are covering all the house and windows. It looks so black. And where all these waste come from? It's from our tax paying even. Tax payers now. Yes. Because the government subsidizes the animals industry a lot of money. Otherwise the hamburger would cost $30 to $100 or $200 even, not $1 like in, in the fast food industry. Okay. Yes, so it will cost $30 to $200, US dollars, in fact, and now it costs only 99 cents. We just say $1, and everybody thinks it's so cheap. Right. Cheap, your money. Yeah, the government use it to subsidize uh, the meat industry because sometimes they don't have enough money to sustain because people don't buy it and then the government buy it and give them the money and give them more, more than, than just the meat value. Because sometimes like after disease or epidemic, people suddenly don't eat meat and they just stop buying and then the, the meat industry lose money and the government <laughs> give more money, more all the time. Even without disease, the government always gives subsidies to the meat industry. Soon after the outbreak of COVID-19, Supreme Master Ching Hai sent an urgent message to all animal meat business and livestock factory owners, as well as those involved in fishing, egg, milk, fur, lab test, cosmetics, and leather industries. In this message, Master listed the crimes the related parties have committed, including the economic consequences. This is what hell will sentence you for. One, you hand out a few hundred dollars and make the workers sell their conscience. They have no other work, perhaps in your remote area, where you hide murderous sins from the world. Two, for tempting the loving parents with your cheap, subsidized, bloody flesh in disguise and reduced prices at taxpayers' expense so that they buy it and are forced to feed their babies, children, and themselves too, mostly unaware of all the chemicals, extra poison, hormones, etc., in that piece of dead carcass. Three. For cashing in and living wealthily at the cost of hundreds of millions of humans and animals, pain and suffering daily. Four, for wasting billions of hard-earned taxpayers' money all the time. Five, for corrupting political entities by lobbying with your cash and tactics so they could not speak up against you, being so busy themselves. Thus, you are at liberty to maim, poison, and massacre our animal co-inhabitants, not just the animals, but also your co-humans, mentally, spiritually, physically, as consequences of eating animals and using animal products. We sincerely pray that all the meat business and livestock factory owners will soon stop their uneconomic and unethical practices and choose a benevolent livelihood instead. And as members of the Earth family, we can all help by giving up that piece of costly, wasteful meat and supporting the just, healthy and sustainable plant-based food system. Charitable viewers, thank you for joining us on our program today, 
Supreme Master Ching Hai, Vegan, on the Harmful Effects of Meat, Part 4, The High Economic Cost. Please tune in again on Thursday, July 16th, for the next part of this series. Coming up is Shining World Compassion Award recipient, The Noble Endeavors of Mercy for Animals, Part 1 of 2, right after Noteworthy News. May the love of heaven guide your every step. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash show.